Hello everyone again, it's Veronica Torres with another installment of our video series where I'm reading aloud from the Choice for Consciousness, Tools for Conscious Living, Volume 1. We have three volumes of this book now, and this is where we collect all the tools that Elohim has taught over the years. Um, <laughs> we've come to I Don't Know Anything, and I'll have some comments about this tool at the end of course, but wow, this tool... <laughs> Anyway, let me read it, and then we'll talk about it at the end. You really do not know anything, and this should please you. You don't know anything about this moment because you've never been in it before. You're brand new here. Your human life has been one of limitation. Spiritual growth is all about transformation and expansion. As you move along your spiritual journey, you move into brand new territory, territory you truly don't know anything about. You have the opportunity here to say, I don't know anything, I only know about limitation, and I'm not satisfied only knowing limitation. I'm ready to live an expanded experience, and in order to do so, I have to acknowledge I don't know a darn thing about living in an expanded way. Because you don't. You absolutely do not know anything about living an expanded life. What you're saying is, I don't know anything about what's going on. I don't know. I don't have an opinion about it. I don't have a judgment about it. I don't have an insight about it other than the insight I open up to. The first step, whenever you're trying to open to a new possibility, is to say, I don't know anything in this moment about this. <laughs> You've never been in this moment asking this question before. So that's not a lie. It's not a crutch and it's not a coping mechanism. It's the truth. And the truth immediately puts you into a higher vibrational state, which makes accessing further insight easier and easier. Stay open with, I don't know anything about now, but I know what I bring to now. You don't come into the now as a babe fresh out of the womb. You come into now with the collection of yourself. And the best you can do is to be in the now with an open and receptive position that allows you to evaluate and interact with the experience as it unfolds. By saying, I don't know how to do it, or I don't know anything about it, that becomes the truth. It clears the deck. It sort of starts you over. And it starts you over where? Right here. Not back at the beginning, but right here and now. So I don't know anything about it. Immediately after I don't know anything comes, am I bringing the past or the future into this moment? That's your habit. I don't know, but I have to look for an answer. Monitor yourself for the past creeping in to say, it's never worked before. I've been trying so hard. Or where the future's popping up. If the past and the future show up, return to I don't know anything. Don't allow the habit of leaving the moment to run the show. Let go of preconceived notions. Let go of future projections. Allow in the expansiveness that you have never, ever experienced before. This is good stuff. And remember that there's a lot of fascination in every moment, especially if, when you don't decide you know what's going on. So what is true now may get you into that peaceful state. And then it's, I don't know anything about that peaceful state because you don't want to project old patterns onto the truth of you. You want to explore the truth of you. And being able to say, I don't know anything about this helps you from bringing old baggage into that new moment. When we first gave you the I don't know anything tool, we were met with a lot of resistance. This resistance came because you don't, you have big brains and you're super smart. And we said, you don't know anything. You all went, ah, yes, I do know something. Eventually the response changed to, wow, that's the biggest help I've ever had. To not feel like I'm always on the hook to know everything. <laughs> all right. So here's the comment that I put in the book when I first wrote it. Oh, this one made people mad. I got so many emails saying, what do they mean? I don't mean any, I don't know anything. Probably because I was saying the same thing to myself. We are so accustomed to being judged by our knowledge. When this tool clicked for me, it was a gate latch that sounded like a sonic boom. You mean I don't have to know everything to feel safe? You mean I can just be? A revolutionary idea. 
Yeah. Here we are two years later, and I don't know anything is one of those things that um, folks that come to the meetings on a regular basis will say to each other occasionally, I don't know anything. And it just, it really is like setting down a heavy load. I don't know anything. And then there's always this opening that f comes after that. So it's just a trip. Anyway, Randy also had a comment on this tool. My ego did not like this tool at first, but using it over and over, let me off the hook of needing to find an answer for anything. Ego out of the way, let soul's perspective come through. Mm, well said. Mike shares, I don't know anything clearly shows me how I make assumptions and draw conclusions on subjects of which I have no knowledge. <laughs> John says, my favorite tool, I don't know anything, is subtle yet intensely profound. When its meaning is truly grasped, there is great comfort in knowing you really don't know anything. Ironically, they may, this may not be a popular concept in spiritual circles as many aspirants I've come across think they know everything. Oh, that's the end. Oh, and I didn't show you the card. Let's see. So we have our new deck of cards that we made. There's a card for every tool in all three of the books. That's why they're different colors, see? So you know, whoa, sunny day. So you know which book it came out of because the tools are, um, they're grouped. And they, they do similar things in the, some, in the same books. The first book is all about, you mean I'm not a victim? Really? I don't have to live as a victim? Here's the card version of I don't know anything. You really do not know anything? This should please you. You are ready to live an expanded life, but you know absolutely nothing about living expansively. Let go of preconceived notions and future projections. Be in the moment and be in fascination. See how that works? Isn't that cool? All right, so I'm going to put a link to the ordering the cards in the video. Subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all of our new videos. And until next time, bye.